Hello everybody, I am Melorunda and I am here to talk to you today. This is a little bit of a story time slash I just want to talk so that way you know who I am. I'm going to tell you the story of how I got my name. Yes, Melorunda Edella Sledge. Wow, what an odd name. It has no origin in it. It's spelled to me, it looks wrong. Everybody else, it looks wrong. But it's M A L L R O N D A. Look at that on my screen right now. Look at it, look at it on your video. It's M A L L R O N D A. Adela, it, it's Adela, because that's what it looked like. Adela is E D D E L L A. So, um, Sledge is a, um, a slave owner name, and anyone, from what I understand from my dad, anyone that has that name, um, is our, well, are descendants of, uh, a slave owner. And also, there's a Sledge, Mississippi, which was, used to be a plantation. So, yeah. Um, Yeah. So pretty soon, I would not be a Sledge or a Murphy. I'll be becoming a new last name that I'm not getting into right now because that's not part of my story. It's about my name. And my name is Melorada Adela. And I am the one and the only. <laughs> and the best of the best. I'm not the best, but the best. Um, and, um... I'm very creative, and I love, love, love doing things that other people somewhat doesn't do, because a lot of things I come up with, it ends up showing up somewhere else, but in the meantime, in between time, I'm happy with what I come up with, because it's very odd and unique until I see it somewhere else. In a matter of speaking, it's nothing new under the sun, but you can always put your twist on it. Yeah, that's what makes it unique. So anyway, Melorunda Adela. Melorunda is 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 M A L, a, a large L, capital L, whatever kind of L you want to call it, R O N D A. Okay, so people just call me Rhonda, and it just drives me nuts because that is just so freaking normal and average. And mediocre but I have to accept it that way because they're normal and average people out here that even if you try to change their name which I have to La Ronda which is spelled L-R-O-N-D-A but because of the fact that everybody and I let everybody say Ronda with the H, without the H, I don't care what H. But, um, ugh, well, whatever. I have been always an eyeball, and I think your name just kind of like represents what your life is going to be. If you have some name like Shaniqua, do you know that you have to, like, really work hard to get people to make you, you know, get people to say Shaniqua in a professional way without going into the mindset of a ghetto name? I mean, that is so wrong for people to do that because when parents pick your name, they're picking their, their name that means something. But because the average person thinks only because of the things that normally go on and stay there and don't rise above their average thinking and go into that um that um pioneer glen at third eye and stop being surface catchers type people then you're gonna always think mediocre. You can't sit there and judge a person on their name. Because I had that happen to me. This is still a story, y'all. I had that happen to me. 
Okay, I had went for a job at this particular um, cafe in Cleveland Heights at the time. Now that was downtown and now in Eaton um, in Orange County. I mean, Orange Orange Place, whatever. But um, it's over by uh, Chardon. So, past Chagrin Road. But whatever, however, it's an upscale cafe. And before they became cat, um, the particular place that I worked at, I had started working there, became a supervisor, all that good stuff. But beforehand, I, I want to say this. A lot of people judge you by how you sound and what your name look like before they even meet you. Like, they'll call you on the phone. I would like to set up a, an interview like this person did. I would like to set up an interview with you. So all of a sudden, I can talk like, okay, how you doing today? Um, I would love to set up a meeting with you right now. And um, I think my best day will be Wednesday. Is that good for you? Oh, yeah, that would be great. Okay, well, I will see you Wednesday. What is the time that you would like for me to be there? And they'll be like, oh, you're just so chipper. So I'm like, okay, thank you very much. I will, you know, you'll get to get, you will get to get to know me soon. So, um, he gave me the time and everything. We chopped it up a little bit, maybe about two minutes more. And, um, he was like, I'll be glad to see you on Wednesday at 11 o'clock. So I get there at 10 o'clock. Get me some coffee, get me some scones, love scones, love them. I mean, I got a scone and a biscotti that day with a latte, yes. That was my first time ever having a latte that day. So I'm sitting there and I'm enjoying myself and the, the Italian lady that was working there at the time, she didn't know that I was there for an interview. So she comes over and she says, are you okay? Are you doing everything here, you know, to your liking and this, that, and the third? And I say, yes, everything is fine. You're just a lovely woman. And I handed her $5. And she puts it in her, thank you very much, puts it in her pocket. And then the next thing I know, um, she says, um, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, I, you know, you need anything else? I said, no. Would you please go get John for me? Okay. Is everything okay? That's the, the owner. I said, well, I have an interview with him today. And boy, oh boy. There she... Hold on. They're finally cutting the grass. They're going to mess up my story. For cutting the grass today. Of all days, to cut the grass. Ah! So anyway, I'm going to try to rise above this, okay? Because even if I close the window, it would only muffle it and still be loud. My cats are going crazy right now. We definitely needed the grass cut. It ain't been cut in a very long time. I'm not going into all of that. But anyway, she her face just turned into the she mean mugged. And she gave me a snarl and she walks over to the back of the store into his office, I guess. Cause see she had to go through these double doors. So she went through the double doors and the guy comes out, he's Italian too. I just need like a few seconds. Still got a little noise going on. So he comes out and his face changed. I'm like, what in the hell just happened? Woo, I'm trying to get past all this noise. It's not working for me. Hopefully, I can like, cut some of this out. You know what? I'm going to keep it. 
because cut, trying to cut chop up a, a voiceover is really really hard but I would if I get to come across on some more noise I don't know I'm gonna pause this okay so now that everything is everything it's quiet now <laughs> I had to take a little pause so seat trying to go down on me uh oh I done made my seat go down hold on hold on hold on okay okay I had to make another recording so anyway um when he came out his face changed too and I was like mm, what in the world is going on so he comes over, he shakes my hand, I'm smiling, and he was like, on the phone, you sound, from on the phone, I sounded, I sounded, uh, now here I go, I sound different, and in actuality, he said that I didn't sound black, and um, I said, okay. So, is that going to make a difference for the video? I mean, for the interview? So, he, he's just like, um, no, I'm just in a little bit of a shock. So, I said, well, I'm multiracial. If that helps you a little bit, I feel kind of uncomfortable. He's like, no, 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 no. Don't feel uncomfortable. I'm just a little shocked. And I said, well, I still sound the same way that I was on the phone. So we got to the interview and everything and I ended up getting a job and that's when <laughs> everything went south <laughs> because I took over the job that the Italian lady had and she kind of like, but the whole thing was she had to go on vacation or something. I forgot what the whole situation was and she was going to be gone and going over overseas for a little while but you mad because I'm gonna be replacing you until you come back until you come back until you come back you're training me for you to go on vacation or whatever the case may be you were gonna be gone for a couple of months and somebody had to take your spot so what was the issue other than the fact that you don't know what nationality I am and now you're surprised because my name don't fit who I am. Yes, it does. It's not average. It's not an average name. Maybe bits and pieces and parts of it is, but I'm above average, honey. I've always been above average, and I'm going to always be above average. That's why I became the boss downtown when they got the new store. <laughs> that made her mad too. <laughs> we always had some type of friction. So she ended up quitting her job. I think I was at that particular place for almost two years, I think it was, before I quit. I actually quit because of the fact that um, I was getting a lot of the racial things going on. I put up with it as much as I could for as long as I did. What was so odd was, I guess I wasn't bowing down the way that the other, the other guy was, because it was only me and one other guy that was there that were black, and he bowed down to them. I didn't bow down. Like some things, I told him, it's just like I'm not agreeing with that. I'm not. I'm not agreeing with that. That's what made me the boss. Because I stood up and said, no, I'm not doing this. No, I don't want to do it that way. This is a better idea. This is better. This is better. This is better. And I went, you know, that's how I moved up. When you bow down to other people, that's when you have a problem. Because that means that you are a 100% follower and you don't know how to lead. So, I've always been a natural born leader. I'm just bad at following I've always been bad at following. I mean, I it's either I go extreme with it or I'm uncomfortable all the way. Like, when I was following, I was trying to buy my way in. I, I mean, 
gift people with stuff and uh, do a bunch of things for people just so that way they can acknowledge me. Getting people approval is just like, ugh, no. Did I do that for real? Why do I, do I, do I need people's approval? Why do I need to fit in so bad when I don't? I sat down I, as a grown person, even up to now, like I really, really try not to fall into anything that's not comfortable for me. And if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. And that doesn't bother me. People be thinking that I don't have a heart, and that's not true at all. I'm very sensitive super sensitive but a lot of stuff that you have no control over I just keep it, keep it moving because you can't change it you can't change somebody how they feel you can't change the situation and you definitely can't go back to yesterday it's already written it's done it's over move on that is the end of my story you all have a good and blessed day and remember I love you and somebody out there always will love you. And that will be me. Okay? I may not I may love you, but I don't like your ways. So anything that's negative in you, change it. And guess what? I'll still love you anyway. Bye.